Hali gani mtazamaji ni matumaini yangu kwa mbobu heri wa afya popote pana mbapo naitegea jukwa la KTN. Karibu sana tuweze kwa ndamana na katakriba njisaji zima kuweza kuzungumzia masuala mbalimbali kiwemo katika kipindi chetu leo hii cha elewa sheria tutakuwa tukiangazia sheria za uhamiaji. Kipe mbacho unafaa kufahamu wewe kama mkenya. Unapotaka kuondoka hapa kuenda taifa lingine ama unapotaka kuingia taifa la Kenya. Ni sheria zipe ambazo zinakulinda haki yako ni ipi na vipi ambavu unaitaji kuweza kuangazia sheria hizo. Tunayo wakili Dunstan mari katika studio zetu za mjini katikati ya mji wa Nairobi ambapo tutakuwa tukizungumza naye kuweza kutufahamisha kama unavyojua kwenye darasa letu hili lele wa sheria mimi naitwa Suleiman Yeri na kuomba tuandamane hadi tamati lakini kwanza tuanze na taarifa kuu leo hii ambapo seneta wa Meru Mithika Linturi ameachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni mbili pesa taslimu akitoa muzi huo hakimu mkuu Edna Nyaloti alielezea kuwa upande wa mashtaka haukuhujumu haki za Linturi kwa kumwasilisha mahakamani kwa wakati ufao ikiwa chini ya saa 24 aidha mahakama imemwagiza Linturi kutohiti la fiana na kesi hiyo kwa kuzungumza na mashahidi wala kuzungumza kuhusu kesi hiyo kwa umma Linturi alikamatwa siku ya Jumapili na kufunguliwa mashtaka kuhusiana na matamshi aliyoyatoa kwenye mkutano na naibu rais William Ruto Jumamosi iliyopita matamshi yanaoaminika kuwa ya uchochezi so satisfied that the state has adequate resources to overtly and covertly monitor the movement of the accused persons including intercept the accused persons uh, communication i'm therefore satisfied that the interference of witnesses will not be a compelling reason to limit the accused so to limit the respondents the right to liberty the court as one of the criminal justice agencies cannot operate in a vacuum without taking into account the impact of crime to, nas to national security and the economy. The court also takes judicial notice that alarming utterances like the ones made by the respondent caused a lot of damage, loss of lives in, uh, during the post-election violence. I'm satisfied that the prosecution has not established that there are compelling reasons to limit the respondent's right to liberty. The affidavit by Kokonyanao does not state that the respondent has the contacts of the witnesses or that the respondent will intimidate witnesses. The affidavit does not state that the respondent has the capacity to interfere with the, with the government's cyber crime lab. The court is also satisfied that the state has massive resources to overtly and covertly monitor the respondent and can intercept his communication, can monitor his movement. The court notes that the prosecution has requested to detain the respondent for seven days. The court is satisfied that the state's adequate resources to investigate the case against the respondent. Tukiachana na kesi hiyo sasa tuangazie swala hili ambapo mbunge wa kitutu chache Richard Onyonka amejiwasilisha kwa wapelelezi katika kaunti ya Kisii na kuachiliwa bila kuandika mashtaka yoyote Onyonka alikuwa na sako na maafisa wa wapelelezi kwa kutoa matamshi ya chuki katika eneo la Nyaribari chache wikendi iliyopita mwakili wake Onyonka wamesema kwamba matamshi yake hayana hatari yoyote na kwamba wako tayari kumtetea mahakamani been given those instructions. My instructions were that I should come here. Now it looks like the DCI team here doesn't know how to handle my case. So I will wait for further instructions to decide because uh, you can't just get into a car and drive to Nairobi because I was doing a program here and things to do. And the summonses talk about I've got seven days uh, to then respond. So, But I've come here because I, I respect the law. Mauaji ya mwanaharakati wa kutetea haki za mashamba Elizabeth Ibrahim katika eneo la Isiolo Juma moja lililopita mizidi hii ni baada ya wanaharakati wa kike kutoka Nairobi wakiongozwa na Bi Esther Pasaris kufanya maandamano ya amani hapa jijini wakitaka serikali kubuni mbinu ya kutetea haki za wanaharakati. Wakizungumza kwenye maandamano hayo viongozi hao wamesema ni jukumu la serikali kutetea haki ya kila mkenya bila kujali sehemu aliyopo. For us, 
we feel that there's been so many women, and they're all documented in this uh, document that we've given, this petition that we've given to the Chief Justice, it's already been received. Uh, uh, you know, uh, femicide is real. We have we, human rights defenders being targeted, Sharon, uh, there are many, you know, Sharon, and the cases are stalled. And we feel that, uh, the, you know, we need to come up with proper ways and mechanisms of dealing with human rights uh, human rights in Kenya. We have to end uh, femicide because uh, w women should not be murdered because they decide they don't want to live with somebody or they're earning more income or the man has his stresses. Wanawake ndiyo nguzo katika jamii. Na ikiwa wanawake hawata weza kuishi maisha yao kwa njia ambayo itawayezesha wao kuendelea na maisha bila wasuasi. Basi sisi sote tuko katika shida. So we know that femicide is a global issue. So if you're listening to me wherever you are in the world, you have an obligation to stand with women in every single part of the world until we all are safe, until we all can walk freely, until we all trust our partners, until we all know we can move and be powerful women. All of us have a moral obligation to stand together globally and protect women and girls. Kwa kweli hivyo haja ya kuwalinda watoto wa kike na wanawake. Washukiwa wawili wa mihadarati kutoka eneo la Ndeia, kaunti ya Kiambu wamefaulu kutoroka baada ya gari dogo walimokuwa kisafirisha bangi kuhusika katika ajali kwenye barabara ya Limuru Kikuyu. Kisa hiki kimefichuka baada ya wakazi walioitikia mkasa kutambua kwamba mzigo uliokuwa ndani ya gari hilo ulikuwa ni bangi ya thamani kubwa hivyo kuamua kutoa taarifa kwa maafisa wa usalama wakazi hao wanataka vizuizi vya polisi hususan nyakati za usiku kuongezwa kama njia moja kufaulu katika kupambana na biashara haramu ya mihadarati ilikuwa imebeba buti yote ilikuwa imejaa bagi na mangonia uh, kiti yote ya nyuma kiti yote ya hapa kada ya dereva yote ilikuwa ni bagi tupo kwa hivyo na ni bagi imepakejiwa vizuri. Kwa hivyo imebeba bangi. Sijui ni, ni kama ya pesa ngapi lakini ni ya pesa mingi tukisema. Ilikuwa imetoka bali sana na hiyo gari ni, ni tu, tuko na uhakika imepita road block kadhaa ili ifike hapa Deya. Lakini juu kuna mtu alifuga jicho ili hiyo gari kapita road block ndio imefika hapa na pengine hatujui kama haikepata accident. Pengine ilikuwa saiko bali sana. Kwa hivyo kila mtu kila askari mahali popote yalipo kila road block ifanye kazi inavyostahilika. Hii ya tunataka iwe imewekwa road block kwa sababu inaweza tumika na wakora na watu ambao wanaweza beba vifaa ambazo wasifai kupeleka Nairobi lakini kwa sababu hii barabara haiko so ile tunasemanga iko busy sana wanaweza itumia kama njia ya ku hide out vitu zao. Haya hali ndivyo ilivyo hiyo umeona mwenyewe kwenye picha hizo kwamba gari bali ya kubeba mizigo umebeba bangi lakini nataka tuungane naye wakili Dunstan Umbari ambaye yuko katika studio zetu za jeje la Nairobi bwana Dunstan Umbari habari ya leo Hasi jambo wa Kenya hamjambo na karibu makampia na tuwe na mwaka mtulivu wa kura safi na ule uzalendo wa Kenya pamoja asanteni yeri na mshukrani sana huyo ni wakili Dunstan Omari tutakuwa tunarudi baadaye kuja kuzungumza naye kuhusiana na sheria nzima ya uhamiaji. Kipi unafaa kufahamu kama wewe ni Mkenya unataka kutafuta pasipoti ama cheti cha usafiri ni hatua zipi unafaa kufuata? Vile vile tumeona mara nyingi hapa katika taifa la Kenya raia kutoka Ethiopia wanakamatwa humo nchini kwa vigezo gani? Kwa nini? Tutajua na tutafahamu na sheria zao na haki zao ni zipi wanapokamatwa wanapokuwa humo nchini. Usiende mbali tupate pumziko fupi kwanza. Thank you.